Good morning. Welcome to our morning devotion. Glad you are tuned to the morning encounter. It is our prayer that you will encounter with God through this broadcast. And now, let's welcome the servant of God. Praise the Lord, my dear friend. A good morning indeed. We thank God for making it possible to meet here again. This morning, I want to share some thoughts around going up. It is said that the way up is the way down. In other words, if you want to go up, humble yourself. There is a narrative that is mentioned in the book of Luke chapter 19. A very, very profound parable that Jesus mentioned. In the book of uh, Luke chapter 16 verses 22 the, uh, the word of God says So it was that the beggar died and was carried by the angels to Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. Now, this is a parable of two people. One man called Lazarus and another one referred to by an adjective that describes his state of wealth. Lazarus was a poor beggar lying at the rich man's gate. And the rich man was within his enclosed, enclosed luxury, eating sumptuously. That's what the word of God says. They both died and were presented to eternity with a reversed life. The rich man was judged harshly, but Lazarus was favored. The rich man was not judged harshly for being rich. Neither was Lazarus favored for being poor. And I will draw some wisdom around these thoughts. We are told that the rich man was dressing, was dressed in purple. You know, in other words, he was dressing very, very decently. There was nothing wrong with his organized diet. He was eating well. There was nothing wrong with him being rich. As a matter of fact, we are all struggling to make some wealth. On the other hand, there was nothing godly about Lazarus' poverty. There was nothing godly about his sickness. And there was nothing godly about his, hung his hunger. He was not fasting. He was not praying and fasting. He was just feeling angry because he had not had food. And so there was nothing godly about the state of Lazarus. And so the rich man, the Bible says that he is judged harshly. He's, he found himself in torment, crying to Father Abraham. And so what do we learn from this? We learn one thing, that the judgment that was presented to the rich man was not based on what he did. The judgment was based on what he did not do. He had an opportunity with his riches even to provide something for Lazarus. The Bible says that Lazarus laid at the rich man's gate hoping that the rich man, that what fell down from the rich man's table would be passed to him at least, at least for him to have something. But the rich man in spite of having that knowledge, he did not even send a portion to Lazarus at the gate. He did not, he did not care about Lazarus' hunger. He had, he was supplied, you know, he had money. The rich man would have said, this man at the gate is poor, is, 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 is sick, you know. Out of his wealth, he would have even sought for some medication for, for Lazarus, but he did not. He did not consider any well-being of Lazarus. And so, the Bible says that then this man is, dies and is presented to eternity and Lazarus also dies. And a reverse, a reverse of life is now experienced on both hands. This man is suffering in torment and Lazarus is enjoying on the other hand. What do we learn from this? Pride. Pride. Pride will make us to be self-centered. Pride will make us to be self-seeking. Pride will make us to be self-promoting. Pride will hinder us from fellowship. It is good to work hard. We have to work hard and make wealth. We have to, ha to work hard and improve our livelihood. We have to work hard 
and become better. But even in doing that, we have to work hard and be humble. We have to work hard and much as God is raising us up financially, much as, as God will be raising us up in terms of promotion, we must bear it in our heart that the place of humility will be determined by the initiative that we take. The word of God says in the book of 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6, Therefore, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God so that he may exalt you in due time. Humble yourself. Who will humble you? Humble yourself. Who will exalt you? God will exalt you in due time. And therefore, humility comes with the right kind of elevation. When we humble ourselves, we will be elevated correctly. My dear friend, I want to bring this to a close. I want to advise us to go out there, work hard, invest, be smart in our, in our dealing. But again, that we may consider the place of humility so that God may exalt us up. Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you praise again that this morning you are reminding us, Lord, about humility, that the only place of being lifted up is by going down. If we desire to be lifted up, then we must consider going down. And how do we do this? By humbling ourselves under the mighty hand of God. And therefore, Lord, I release my, my brother, my sister into this grace that help them understand the importance of humility. And therefore, Lord, we are released to blessing, we are released to grace, we are released to favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray by faith. Amen. The Lord bless you, my dear friends. It was good to see you here again. Until we meet again, stay blessed. My name is Philip Odera. That was the morning encounter. We are glad that you tuned in. Follow us on YouTube at Sidim Eldorat TV. Our Facebook page is Sidham Eldoran. Our Twitter and Instagram handles at Sidham Eldoran. And our website is eldorat.sidham.org. Let's encounter again tomorrow morning, same time, same place.